Do you want to say hello? Do you, you want to say hello? Do you want to do the intro? Hmm? Do you want to do the intro? Welcome to Tina's channel. I'm hoping you like this video. It's going to be another clothing haul. Yeah, all the clothes are down there. Do you want to go, Hannah? Here you go. Hello! As my kitten just told you, this will be another clothing haul. This is mostly what I've bought throughout the summer, so it's pieces from different places. I'll try to tell you where everything is from. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. The first piece I'm actually wearing now, and it's this sweater. It is cropped. This neck is not in the sweater. It's just a little shirt that I put underneath, but I thought they worked really cute together. It just has this little tie in the middle and it is, it does go till the end of my arm, but I usually have it a bit up. It's not like too puffy when you have it up, so I really like that. It's really suiting for colder summer days, so I've really been enjoying this one. And it's just in this blush pink and I'm really liking this color at the moment. I kind of want to more in this color. I enjoy this so far and since it's cropped it's really breezy when it's too warm outside you really wear too much of a sweater but you still need some something to cover up a bit to be a bit warmer. This is at least the first one. I got this at Fretex which is a used store or vintage store in Norway. I don't remember exactly how much it was but it was under 100 kroners. I guess it was maybe 80. I think this type of tops usually cost around that so I'm guessing 80 so that's quite cheap this sweater is originally from H&M so it wasn't probably that expensive to begin with either but I'm really glad I found it I haven't seen anything like this in H&M recently and I'm glad I got to do some secondhand thrifting so not everything is new and made for me I guess this next item is from Carlings it is a pair of the trousers Carlings usually are really good on trousers because they do have size both in the waist and in the length. So for me, who has long legs and a petite hip tummy area, it is really nice to go there to look if I need something. Usually they are a bit expensive, you usually find. <laughs> Wanna say hi again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they usually have more expensive pants, it usually costs around 1,700 kroners, somewhere in there. But there was a big sale when I was in Bergen. So I went in and I found a pair of trousers that just sat so nicely. So I just thought I wanted them straight away. And I was a bit scared to look at the price tag. And when I saw it, I was so happy because I thought on sale it would probably be at least 400 kroners, but it was 170. Five. So that is so cheap and it's this white pair of denim. They're not stretchy. I don't really like stretchy denim and I feel like that's so hard to find nowadays. They do flare a bit out at the angles and they are high-waisted. So I thought they were so so cute. These feel like they're made for my body. They sit so nicely. So I've already worn this quite a lot. It is a vanilla white color and it also has like dark specks or like tiny tiny dots in the material so they really do remind me of vanilla so i kind of want ice cream every time i use this but they're so good and so comfortable and i just love them the next thing i got was another pair of trousers these are the more suit looking trouser-esque and these are from bermuda it's at least just these like beige loose trousers they are mostly polyester but they are 33% viscose and they are so so soft. I am so happy I found these. These were also on a really good sale. They were 150 kroners so that's really good. I've been on the hunt for a pair of trousers in this style and color for so long so I'm now so happy that I have them. I feel like these are really really comfy so I can use them when I just want to chill or feel like being in leggings or sweatpants but they are so comfy that I can use these 
instead and still look cute and put together. And they are a tiny bit big in the waist, but that also means that I can eat more in them and they will still fit. I might use these with a belt or try to sew them a tiny bit in, but I like them so, so much. They're so cute and I feel like they just go with mostly anything. I feel like this is in style right now and I see this fitting with so much of the outfits I want to create. Folding them nicely <laughs> so I don't get a lot of wrinkles. My boyfriend also really, really likes these. They do suit him quite a lot too. I'm not sure if they suit me or him the most. And they do look kind of unisex when you wear them because when I wear them, I feel like they're suit around my hips. But when he wears them, I feel like it suits like the fall of his body or like the male figure. So these are from the women's section, but I think if you're a male, you can also try to take a look there because they are flattering on him. <laughs> they do look really nice. Okay, so the next items that I got, I don't know what things come in two in this haul, but the next things are two coats. Jackets. There are like thin material coats and the first one is also from Fretex, which is the used store. This does not have buttons or a zipper or anything. They just are tied with a little belt and it is that type of belt where you wrap over, under and then over again. This just half moon buckle is so so cute and I think it looks so nice with the fall of this jacket. It also has a bit of cat fur on it. We have the guilty one there. And you could fur in all of my coats there. And fur in all of my clothes. She really do likes going into my wardrobe and just sitting on all of my sweaters. So I do need to roll my clothes and remove hairs from her quite often. It's worth it. She's so cute. And she's so cuddly. She started her. <laughs> Continuing with the coat, it has a really nice fall in the front hair, so it kind of ruches. It just sits really prettily, and it also has this. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of a capey look to it. So you do get that feminine cape double layer silhouette on the back and I really like that. It looks like it is made for a pretty woman and now it's in my hands. So. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like the color. It is a navy blue. I'm kind of really tired of only wearing black and always having some black in my outfits. I am kind of moving away from the blacks, so I wanted something that was neutral enough you can put it over almost every outfit but still something with some color. I like it a lot. This is also from H&M. Coincidentally both of my thrifted pieces are from H&M. The shell is polyester and 31% viscose. The lining is 100% polyester but at least the outside is 31% viscose so I'm quite happy to have some natural fibers in my clothes not only plastic so it breathes a tiny bit better. And the other coat that I got, this I bought from H&M. So there are a lot of H&M in here, but this is the only one that I bought from the actual store. And this is from the men's section. I was actually with my boyfriend to look for clothes for him and I saw this and I just Scream <laughs> running for it because I thought the colors were so so pretty. I just love everything about it So I just crossed my fingers and hoped that they had a size that fit me and that the silhouette fitted a female body And it did kind of. My boob area is kind of squished in it But except for that it sits really nicely and it's this one Isn't the pattern just so lovely? It is based on a really light beige color and it has dark burnt orange, light baby blue and black. It's so so pretty. And the buckles are black. You only see the upper one because the rest is covered in this fold. I'm not sure <laughs> what I think about folds like this because I think buckles are really really cute. So I like buckles to show all the way but it looks quite clean when it's only the top.
top one too. So I hadn't really decided, but I think I would prefer having all the buckles showing. But I think it's so pretty that I wanted it anyways. And it do have nice pockets. And it do also have really cute buckles at the arms or the sleeves. This is sadly also mostly polyester. The shell is 66% polyester and 32% viscose and 2% elastine and the lining is only polyester. So this is pretty much the same as the other coat and I would prefer more viscose or cotton or wool or something that breathes a tiny bit better because I will probably be too warm in this to use it now and for the winter it will be too cold but for the transitional seasons like autumn and spring this is perfect so I'm really really excited about this one and I just love that it has autumn colors it's so pretty but because of the blue I feel like you can also use this in spring I feel like a light blue is a really nice spring color because it's a bit fresh and a bit cold but moving on to like lighter base but the burnt orange or is it brown it might be more brown <laughs> it is a brownish orange but at least I feel like that is so autumny and so pretty but yeah I'm just in love with this one i want to use it all the time now so i just need more basic outfits that will suit this so i can't wait to just be fabulous and walk around in this one so on to the last thing i got the last thing is one accessory this is also thrifted and it's a little bag this brand is called don donna i actually do have a bigger bag in the same brand but i just thought this was so so cute and the perfect size if you remember my little blue bag that i bought some months ago it is quite tiny it's probably the size of this like front pocket and it only has space for either my phone or my camera whilst this one has space for my phone my camera sunscreen and maybe some makeup bits or whatever so this has been a lifesaver this summer i bought it maybe a month ago and i've been using it non-stop ever since it is so so good it has one smaller big pocket in the front and I do have some card holders. I usually use these holders for my airpods and maybe a mirror for my makeup and then the bigger space in the bag is just open and it's really really nice and then you do have a little pocket in here too which i've just filled with lady products because i like being the one to carry around some lady products if i need them or if a friend need them or whomever so if you see me in a shop or at a cafe and you find yourself in the need of something like that i always carry it around because i always feel so good about myself when i help a fellow female out with their troubles that day and then we do have one last pocket in the back this is more of the secret back pocket that most bags have and it is really really nice you can fit your phone in here and also some small bits and pieces i do have some toothpickers. I do have some dental hygiene back here but I sometimes have my phone here too if it is a more sketchy area that I'm walking in or if it is a area that I'm not too sure about. I feel like that is the safest place to have your valuables. That's everything that I bought in this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below what piece was your favorite and what style do you plan on rocking this autumn? <laughs> I know it's not autumn yet but I'm really really high. So are are you a coat type of person or are you more of a jacket or bomber jacket type of person? Please tell me in the comment, I would be so interested to know. And please remember to comment, like and subscribe to Tina and I hope I see you again soon. Goodbye! And remember to subscribe. Bye! <laughs> now your fur is everywhere, huh? Did I just do my bad hat? <laughs> <laughs> I have been good this summer and bought that much this summer. <laughs> I do want more autumn clothes because a lot of the things I have for autumn is 
six years old or older so I do feel like I need to freshen up my style a tiny bit for autumn and I do have a plan for that I have made a map so I might show you in a autumn-y haul but <laughs> on to the accessories that I got I'm now kind of considering getting another channel just for my cat her name is Paula if you haven't seen the video where I introduce her but she's also here she's a nursing horse cat she is now 10 years old so she's a old lady but she's so kind and she's so pretty eyes they're so green <laughs> I love the one green eyes 